Hey everyone, it's Coach Dan Motivation bringing you a 13 minute full body workout. If you have a soccer ball, great. No big deal if you don't. We're gonna get started like we did last time. We have our timer, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Let's get started. All right, our first exercise is gonna be burpees. For burpees, you're gonna get down with your hands on the ground. You're gonna bring your feet out, keep your body straight in push-up position, bring your feet back, and jump up in the air. And you're gonna continue that for 40 seconds. Start on the beep, rest on the double beep. Ready. Okay, push-up position, back, jump. Not the easiest, but make sure you're working and try your best. Feet back, feet together, and up. Nice and light on your feet when you jump, bend your knees when you land. All right, nicely done. Next one, six inches. You're going to keep your legs nice and straight. You're gonna hold them up about six inches. This is going to work your abdominal muscles. If you need to, put, you can put your hands under. Squeeze your core. Breathe as you're doing this. You can flutter your feet if you want to. Almost there. Keep going. Couple more seconds. All right, good work. Next one we're doing side lunges. For side lunges, you can hold the soccer ball if you want, keeping it right in the middle. You're gonna take a step, bend at your side, step, bend your knee and come back. All right, bend, back together, bend, back together. Try and keep your other leg straight, back straight as well. Good work, almost there. All right, next one, these are a little bit tough. You can just do regular push-ups if you want, or you can do alternating push-ups. You have the ball on one side, you do a push-up, and roll it to the other side. But like I said, you can do regular push-ups, you can go on your knees if you need to. Try your best. Roll on the ball from one side to the other. Push up, keeping your back straight, bending at your elbows only. There's my dog Sadie cheering me on. Yep. Again, you can go on your knees if you need to. All right, next exercise, we have a side plank. Okay, so we're going to go on our side, on your forearm, leg straight out, and you're gonna hold your body up. You'll feel it on the side of your abdominal muscles, which is your obliques. Hold it up. Breathe as you're doing it. These are not the most fun, but they're a great workout. Yeah, yeah. 
Make sure your forearm is on the ground and your elbow at 90 degrees. Almost there. All right, good work. Next one are leg raises. So we're gonna do two on each side, okay? For these, you're gonna bend one leg, the other one's gonna be straight out, and you're just gonna come up. We'll do two, nice and controlled, and then we switch. one going to be crab walks right for the crab walks you're going to make sure that you hold your body up okay and you just walk around in the area you can go front to back side to side however you want but try and go for all 40 seconds so your bottoms off the ground and you're moving around you'll feel this in your triceps a little bit in your shoulders workout almost there make sure you're bending your elbows slightly don't lock out your arm as you're doing it all right good job so next one we're gonna do some jumping jacks we're gonna go feet together arms together feet out arms up Alternating each time. Ready? Nice and light on your feet. Get your arms all the way up. Bending your knee a little bit. there 10 seconds all right great stuff all right next one we're gonna do row boats is working our abdominal muscles okay you're gonna balance so your feet are off the ground but you're gonna bring your knees in towards your chest okay your arms are gonna be out and make sure your back is off the ground. So we're balancing, bringing our knees in. Good work. Don't let those feet hit the ground. Knees in. Squeeze as you bring your knees through. Almost there. All right. So next one, we're gonna do some jump squats. So it's gonna go hop up, together, apart, together, apart. You can use the ball as you do this. Hold the ball out in front of you. Make sure you go down about 90 degrees or a little bit more. Apart, together, apart. Bending your knees each time. Back straight. Breathe as you're doing it. Almost 
almost there. 10 seconds. All right, a couple more. Next one, these are called chest squeezes. You can actually use the ball for this. You can hold your hands out or keep it in. You're just gonna push your hands into the ball as hard as you can and hold that. This is working your chest muscles and you'll feel it as you push through. You can do half and half, start close and then 20 seconds left, you go out a little further. All right, halfway there, hold it out, do the same thing. You don't need a soccer ball. You can just use your hands and push your hands against each other. And you'll feel this in your chest, a little bit in your arms and shoulders as well. All right, so we're gonna do side planks the other way now, since we did it the one way the first time. So we gotta even it out. You're gonna make sure that you have your forearm on the ground, legs straight, you're gonna hold your body up, okay, just like we did before, but now the opposite direction. And up. All right, make sure you're holding it up. Don't let your body sink down, hold it. Make sure you breathe as you're doing this. You're gonna feel it right here in your obliques. About halfway done, hold it there. If you have to go down for a second, go down and come back up. We got one more exercise after this and then we are done. All right, last one. So these are called reverse flies. Uh, usually you can use weights, you can use water bottles if you want. For right now, we'll just do body reverse flies. You're going to bend your knees, lean forward. Make sure there's a curve in your back going the opposite direction. And all you're going to do is bring your arms out. Nice, slow, and controlled. Squeeze at the top and come back down. there, finish strong. Nice work. Once again, I'm Coach Dan Motivation. I hope you enjoyed this workout. If you want to, you could always watch it again if you need a little bit extra. If not, make sure you get a good cool down in, make sure you stretch your muscles and be ready to go for next time. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also check me out on Instagram at Coach Dan Motivation. Thanks again for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also check me out on Instagram at Coach Dan Motivation. Thanks again for watching.